Rwanda Air says it is serious about capturing the African continent and will stop at nothing to do that. Management says the airline is increasing its number of vessels by 50 percent. As, uh, as you very well know, Ghana is one of uh, the most important countries in West Africa, economically, socially, politically. It's very stable. Uh, it's citizens travel, go out, trade, conference. Um, and Ghana is actually, the traveling public of Ghana are very, um, they have developed. It's not a new market. It's not. Uh, uh, it's a market that has traveled all over the world, especially to Asia. And so it's it's just a common sense to have Ghana as one of our uh, destinations, so an important we destination. We want to be a significant player in the aviation industry in East Africa, in Africa. Uh, this means, uh, first of all, increasing our fleet. We today operate eight aircraft. Uh, by the end of next year, 2016, we'll be operating 12, which will be a leap in the sense that we'll add 50% uh, of capacity uh, and double the number of seats we offer because two of the new aircraft will be wide body aircraft. That leap will also mean that with wide, wide body aircraft, we start long haul operations. Uh, we are looking east to China and India. Uh, Europe is also in our sights. But for that to happen, we need to consolidate our network in Africa, uh, a, 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 more, a deeper network. So we're looking then at uh, increasing the number of uh, destinations in East Africa, sorry, in Africa, and uh, also increasing frequencies when some destinations mature. Uh, safety and security are paramount in aviation. And aviation has been the target of uh, attacks all over the world. But aviation also has been an industry which has been very responsive to those threats and has uh, international standards to mitigate those. So one of the achievements, by the way, last year was that we became uh, IOSA certified. IOSA is an audit, a safety audit uh, conducted by IATA. And in that, that means that we apply the highest levels of standards in terms of safety and security. So in terms of security, to go in detail is uh, uh, providing security in an airline environment means having contracted security companies in airports, having those services checked and audited by ourselves to see that they apply all the standards. Uh, conducting all kind of activities, profiling of passengers, but of course cooperating with uh, law enforcement uh, agencies in all the countries where we fly. So uh, we abide by the highest standards when it comes to safety and security. So for the Ghanaian public, Ghanaian customers, we, those who are customers, we value their patronage. We, see, we, we hope to see more Ghanaian fly us which means we want to improve the, the service we're offering. We hope to see a day where Accra will be delinked from another point, which will mean faster connections into our, from our hub to different destinations. We know Ghana has a vibrant economy, a vibrant population, so we want to be then the choice of Ghanaian travelers First, those uh, professionals or so business people traveling up in Africa, East Africa, Southern Africa, uh, those traders uh, going to uh, Dubai, India, China. So we want our story with Ghana to be a long and successful one.
Can you share your experience with uh, about Rwanda uh, with us? Rwanda is a fantastic airline. I think I've flown them a few times and they keep their schedule integrity very well and uh, always on time. Uh, fantastic service on board. Value for money airline. Mm. Yes. I see. Yes. Thank you so, much. so I'm really very uh, privileged and proud and I'll fly them over and over again. Oh. Uh, if they've converted me from Kenya Airways, I think they're doing well. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Awesome comparative, the co comparison there that's been done by that. Well, that's not all, because as part of opening our business to West Africa, Rwanda gave a session of the Ghanaian media a flight experience. My colleague Gladys Osoredu, who is part of the team, has joined me in the studio to share her experience. But before that, here is a sneak peek of that trip, on which I'm sure she really enjoyed. As part of opening up to the world, Rwanda Air is given media flight experience from the Accra International Airport, Portugal International Airport actually. Now we are at Lagos and I want to go into the captain's car and to talk to the pilot who brought us here safely. Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning, how are you? I'm well and you? Yeah, good. Yeah. We enjoy the flight from Accra to Lagos. Um, how many more hours do we have to get to Kigali? So, Kigali is going to be 4 hours 10 minutes mm. and the air flight was uh, 45 minutes only. Okay. Yeah. So is this the state of art flight or it could be better? Yeah, I guess this is uh, modern because uh, 0.737 as you know, 800 and with the sky interior. So I think this was a modern aircraft. Okay. Yeah, everything's computerized as you see. Okay. Yeah, so everything is technology. So. I think the flight is modern. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The airplane is modern. It's a new version. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much for diary. So we okay. have been talking to the captain. Uh, it's a privilege. Let me just sit and pretend as if I'm also flying. Yeah. Uh, so let's see how we arrive in uh, Kigali and then come back safely to Ghana if I am the captain of this plane around uh, well. Let's see. Um, so Which automatically illuminates when in contact with water. Should oxygen masks drop from the compartment above your seats, please remain seated. It took us about almost five hours hours to touch down at the Kigali International Airport. Well, uh, I was a safe flight, a smooth flight. And for as long as I am here, I will be experiencing Kigali, Rwanda. We'll tell you more. Definitely, we'll tell you more. And Gladys is here in the studio with me. Gladys, you're welcome to the Pulse. Thank you, Gifty. Is this your first time on the Pulse? Um, I think no. so. No, 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 it's not. It's okay, not. we should keep it in more for that. <laughs> but anyway, tell me about Kigali. I've seen that you really enjoyed yourself yeah. and with a very handsome pilot as well. Yeah. You know, tell us about Kigali. Well, there was one who was more handsome Please. than this one. Tell us about Kigali. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, let me say it was a very, very uh, touching experience. Um, mm. they, they really mean business because I see the treat they gave us. Um, it's nice to travel as a tourist still. <laughs> not really working, but I, we were working. So we mm. still had both experiences. Kigali is a very beautiful beautiful, calm, clean country, city. Um, in fact, traveling from Kigali to even outskirts of the town, and the whole country is clean. Mm. And they've made that a, a habit, not the kind we do here. Uh, we call, we, we clean, they also clean monthly anyway, but mm. they have that uh, discipline to maintain the cleanliness even before it's time to do another cleaning mm. of the country. Mm. And mm. one observation I made was um, when I entered my first hotel room, I saw Miss Cotton Net hanging in there. I was like, woo, there are mosquitoes. <laughs> so I went back to check about that. that, that do you have mo lots of mosquitoes here? And then the man said, yes, but they are harmless. <laughs> Those mosquitoes are harmless. Exactly. But he explained that they know that is their problem. The um, country is surrounded by a lot of water bodies. Water. And so they know mosquito is one Definitely problem they problem. have. And so they have invested. And so the mosquitoes they have currently are sterilized mosquitoes, uh, which have I attacked the anopheles mosquito that gives okay. malaria. Okay. And so though you see mosquitoes, they are not mo dangerous, harmful mosquitoes that uh, will cause any malaria. Yes. But let's talk about your experience. You've described it as a very uh, beautiful and a very good. I mean, I re traveled recently and I wouldn't want to uh, mention the name of the airline, okay. but I had a terrible, terrible uh, experience. Okay, but, so. But, mm -hmm. but let's talk about the, the, your experience. Isn't it because they know that these are media people? I mean, of okay. course. And so well, so, um, you know, first when we're 
flying uh, towards Kigali and no, none of the crew on board knew we were the media right. coming to do a special um, okay. trip on flight okay. and so we, we, we were treated as any other person mm -hmm. and on request whatever you asked for unless they did not have they but once know. they had and they had even run out and but they could go to the um, where they, they keep their, their storage mm -hmm. and bring you a replacement they did that they give you me. like bamboo uh, and okra or no like you have to eat the you know continental <laughs> <laughs> so to make up but they are very when it comes to customer care mm -hmm. I mean it's, it's superb for on flight and even on the ground in the country mm -hmm. customer service it means a lot to them. to them for them it is because of the customer that they do business I'll have to try it before I can you to, ought to, to test to test this hypothesis that you're making let's talk about genocide we know that Rwanda yeah. has suffered from this genocide what, mm -hmm. what, what I mean they, they they're doing well though they're people have even well. argued that they're doing better than people who have not gone through that experience Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well. um, some, some people also have argued that perhaps because they went through that experience, they are now very, very careful mm. not to infringe um, the problem again. And mm. so when you go there, the first thing, they don't even talk about I'm a Hutu or I'm a Tutsi. Mm. We attempted asking that, and the answer we got was, um, that's a dangerous question to ask. Mm. I am a Rwandan, and that they answered that. Um, there's a good effort to maintain the peace they are enjoying currently. Mm. And so the genocide in Rwanda is just outside Rwanda and even outside East Africa mm. but when you go there you realize it's a different story altogether and that's the, those that's, are the pictures we're rolling on that is the right Kigali genocide memorial um, what, what place, do you find in there archival and um, evidence of the genocide so you have the mm. bones you wow. have the skulls you have uh, pictures of the children mm. but, and other people but a thousand people suffered from that mm. and you have their names and photos um, yeah. that's a team from Ghana the mm. media that went there oh I, yeah that's <laughs> That's you you have sure. the photos, archival materials. So these are people who died? Exactly. No, these are survivors. Oh, survivors. These are survivors. They right, do right, not allow survive. cameras in there okay. because um, they are careful how the media would report what yes. they see yes, on yes, camera. And so yes. you need to go through strict um, scrutiny right. as a media personnel right. to be able to go and film and tell the story. And they are interested in knowing what kind of story you tell. Right. So Just so you don't um, inflame you passions. Don't go, exactly. Yes, so exactly. um, they are very careful and they are very, very nice careful. people. Careful. But they should it's, be. It's, it's a good destination to think of when you think in vacation. Vacation. Yeah. Well, I'll think about it. But we do also know that there isn't a free media in, in, in a place like Rwanda. They are not it's interested not in that. They say they don't <laughs> need the kind of vibrant media we have here oh, in they Ghana. Don't need in it. Because the media contributed a lot to about that seventy percent to the genocide. I understand so them. I they understand are, they, they them. want to do without media. Well, well I, I guess I'll have to write to Rwanda, Rwanda Air, <laughs> Rwanda, Air. Rwanda, Air. Yes. Rwanda Air, and see if they can give me, you know. Don't worry, because even if you try, if you, the economy is. <laughs> can slightly be compared to the first class of course first class is always you know up, uh, up but the economy is still very yeah, very so you, you mean to say that i can manage right you can manage yes. <laughs> you can manage yes okay okay we're going to have to cut this conversation yeah. but sorry but when uh that is gets on the set like that with me it re usually uh drags but, but i hope we'll that talk it's more about culture we we'll talk more about culture when we go on to lte yes. Yes. definitely so and i have to tuned. cut gladys yeah. somewhere otherwise she'll go on and on and on gladys has been with ron air and they've been you know trying to let us know exactly what their services are about we'll get you some more about Rwandan culture on LTE.